Hey everyone, Wesley from DIY Dud to Stud here with an awesome thin blue line flag laser and gray. I used a K4040 watt laser to make this, but it could be also be done with a wood burner for those who love to do the biography art. This tutorial has three parts. The first part is a laser engraved time lapse. The second part is how to design a thin blue line flag using Inkscape. And the third part is how to use K40 Whisperer to engrave the flag. I'd love to read your thoughts on this flag. Please leave a message in the comments below and have a great day. Enjoy the tutorial. So what do you think my next flag should be? The Harley Davidson flag or the In God We Trust flag? Leave a message in the comments, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Welcome to part two where we design the flag. So this first step is to copy each piece of clip art we will be placing on the flag. This copy will be used to make an outline for the next step. We will use this copy to create our outline. To do this, double click on the clip art and go to path and select break apart. Move the outline to the side and delete whatever is rest. This will be done on different pieces of clip art. The second step is to double click on the outline and go to the path again and this time select dynamic offset. You will see a dot at the top, click on this and drag it to the right. It will increase the size of the outline, this is what we want. Now select your clip art and drag it on top of the flag. Now double click your clip art and using the shift button, click on the flag and then go up to path and select difference. This will delete the shape of the expanded clip art on the flag. Using the same steps, we will repeat the same process for the badge outline and the heartbeat outline. Just a quick tip, if you have trouble placing the outline on your flag, just change the color of it. This will allow you to be able to see the difference between your flag and your clip art. Now we will move the original clip art into the space left by the expanded outline that we made. To get better centering of the clip art in the outline, zoom in on the flag and this will allow you to see your outline better. This allows for an area around the clip art so you can see the detail of it against the flag.
following the same steps that we did with the badge and the medical symbol, repeat the same process with a heartbeat clip on. Part 3, K40 Whisper Tutorial Part. First thing we need to do is load up the SVG file we just created in Step 2. If the file type doesn't reflect SVG, just do a drop down and select SVG format. Then look for your file and click on Open. Quick tip, to have an idea of where to place your wood in the K40, go to Tools and then Trace Design Boundary. This will burn an outline of the design from here. Just place the wood piece in the middle of the outline. Now there are multiple different ways you could engrave or cut your material. The red color indicates vector cut. It goes at a slower speed and usually does it at a higher power. The blue color resolves to vector and grave. It gives you a straight line but still works with vector graphics. And the black color works with what's called raster and grave. That be basically your bitmaps and or your clip arts. That's what we're going to be doing in this tutorial. When you are ready to engrave, I recommend changing your engraving speed to 230 and then click on raster and grave button. Then sit back and relax for the laser to finish your project. Quick safety tips, never leave your laser when it's burning, this could potentially start a fire. Also, never open the laser door without proper laser eyewear. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed this thin red and blue line flag. If you did, please give a like and leave a comment. Also, if you'd like to see more of these types of videos, please subscribe and hit the bell for future notifications by future videos. Thank you for watching the video and remember, always be good to each other.